So what we have here is a 5-ish year old tractor concept called Centaur that Aroma ID, which is a German design studio apparently, did for the heavy machinery brand Voltra. But at the same time, it's a car. And I mean, it's 5 years old but looks like it's gonna fly to Mars tomorrow. Anyways, it all started in 2018. There was a Voltra design challenge to find THE multipurpose vehicle of the future. A machine that can handle multiple tasks to meet future needs and that is more efficient than today's highly specialized machines. Which is a very vague description of a competition if you ask me. Nonetheless, the challenge had 107 entries from 32 different countries and 6 continents. And our undefeated Matador here managed to get the second honorary mention. Very underwhelming. But the design studio brags about it being praised for its amazing tires and the advanced suspension. So let's look at the actual winners of the challenge and then get back to the tires and suspension because the science behind them is beyond cool. Well first I wanted to mention also the third and second place. But when reading about the concepts I realized this would be just another next head video. If you know what I mean. So here is at least a quick summary. In third place is a Polish design of an almighty machine called the unit. Capable of replacing both the tractor with all its implements as well as the combine. Among the problems with this machine are the grossly underdeveloped legs of the detachable main body and the small size of the whole system since it's trying to fit everything you need for farming crops into 15 square meters. Making it almost useless for farms bigger than let's say 50 acres. You could buy more of these machines but I guess that would be way too expensive. Also. So I don't think the hypothetical price was mentioned anywhere since it's just a design challenge. In second place. N -n no, it's the same idea. And what is this? If you know about some actual sane intelligent agricultural machinery concept, please let me know in the comments. I would really like to see it. And I know it's hard to design something good and that innovation is very important, but from what I've seen so far among the 107 entries in the competition, everything is literally THE same concept, but they all look slightly different. So now for the winner of the challenge. It's slick. It's unique. It's something you want for Christmas. It's the Walter Vertical. Now, to be completely fair, it also has some room for improvement. But look at this beauty! It's designed to optimize vertical farms. Me like vertical farms. But more than a mere tractor, the Austrian team behind it basically designed the whole farm. With this hydroponic belt system, the tractor, and these logistic drones. Of these three, the tractor is obviously the most intriguing. But the belt system also piques my interest because I've frankly never seen anything like it. But from what I've seen on these renders, I can already tell you that the light distribution would be very uneven, so the plants at the bottom would grow drastically slower than the ones directly under the light. For example, the vertical farming company Plenty also grows crops sideways, but they provide very sufficient lighting. To add to the suggestions, I would make the Voltra vertical fully autonomous and integrate some sort of electrical power supply into the warehouse floor so that the tractor doesn't have to rely on batteries. And with that being said, the Centaur. So this is a modular vehicle that's supposed to be the farmer's best friend. Because thanks to its normal shaped wheels and decently looking suspension, it can get you fast to the field or city or wherever you wanna go. But when it's time for some hard field work, the rear suspension widens and the tires pop out these stumps, giving you extra traction and agility. But wait, there is more. The tire is unsuscitable to dust and dirt. 
The tire tread segments are mounted beneath a highly flexible hermetically sealed skin that is extremely robust. In order to move up to 8 cm, the incorporated mechanism has to be very powerful since it has to elevate the whole machine. This power is provided by a wheel hub motor that rotates a ring within the wheel rim under high torque, moving the piston rods that are connected to the tire tread segment. When the vehicle changes from soft muddy ground onto the road, mud and dirt is automatically cast of the tire by retracting the tread segments. And there is more! You can actually pop off the cap and replace it with a tap. Or thanks to these rails, you can attach any kind of implement you would like and let the machine work on its own. I would just say that the tires might look good and function well, but when you eventually wear them down, it's gonna be costly to get new ones. With that being said, would you drive this thing on Mars? Thanks for watching.